sweetheart, darling, my one and only love, what do you think you're doing? No, sweetheart, don't try and get out of bed just so you can go back to using the computer. You should have been asleep an hour ago. Whatever it is you want to do on there, you can do tomorrow. As of right now, you need to stay in bed with me and get some sleep. If you try to get out of bed, I'm just going to princess carry you back to the bed myself. And you know that's an empty threat because it wouldn't be the first time I've done it. You know I love you, darling. I'm only saying this for your own good. Now do I have to pin you down so you stay in bed with me? Or are you going to be a good girl and lay back down where you can get the rest you need? Good girl. I love it when you're so cooperative. <laughs> I'm almost disappointed though, I would have loved to pin you down, well, there's always later. By the way, you don't mind if I hold you, do you? Well then, don't mind if I do. You'll let me know if I'm holding you too tightly, won't you, sweetheart? Good girl. You know how it is. Wolf strength. Sometimes I don't know my own strength. I don't know what I'd do if I ever hurt you. I could never hurt you. I could hurt others, sir, especially if they try to hurt you, <laughs> or hit on you, but I could never live with myself if I hurt you. You're mine, you're my human, my mate, you're my good girl. And I have to take care of what's mine, don't I? I take such good care of you, don't I, sweetheart? I keep you so safe. I'm always watching you all the time for that purpose. Morning, noon, evening, night. I'm always keeping an eye on you just to make sure you're safe. Well, I don't just want you to keep you safe. I also really enjoy looking at you. But that just means it's a good thing I enjoy my job of always watching you, like a predator stalking their prey. Wait, no, actually that's not a good way to put it, that makes it sound like I'm bad for you. And there's nothing bad about me watching my good girl, my darling, my sweetheart, my mate. I love you, after all. I'm just making sure you aren't being tricked by any of those rotten, dirty boys. They'd butter you up with their pretty little lies, telling you how they do anything for you. But they won't. I'm the only one who do anything for you. I'm the only one who would starve for you. Kill for you, or rob banks for you. Well, I actually make a lot of money, so I don't have to, but that's not the point. 
The point is, you're special to me. You're only truly special to me. My special good girl. Like for instance, when you scritch me behind my ears, or when you fluff my tail. If anyone other than you tried to do that to me, I would murder them. And then I would bring them back to life and murder them again. But it actually feels really good when you do it. Like, so damn good. Like my mind goes numb, head empty, happy thoughts only. You're so good, sweetheart. I love you. Not just for the ear scritches. I mean, I really do love that, but I love you in a more general sense as well. And it's because I love you so much that I'm going to keep you. You're mine forever. All mine and only mine. I won't allow you to belong to someone else. If you try to leave me for someone else, there'd be punishment to be had. Well, I would never punish you. Sure, if you tried to leave me, I'd probably chain you or tie you to my bed. But something tells me you'd think of that more as a reward. But, as for anyone you try to leave me for, I'd certainly punish them. For leading my sweet and impressionable good girl astray. And I don't mean that in a playful, haha, <laughs> I'm punishing them but they actually like it, sort of way. No, I mean genuinely, truly hurting them. I mean clawing out their vocal... <laughs> well, you get the idea. No need to elaborate. I do very hurtful things to them. Hypothetically speaking, of course. But realistically, I'd never need to do that, because I know you'd never leave me. You'd never break my heart like that, because you are my sweet and precious and beloved good girl. I can be so peaceful towards others because you're such a well-behaved good girl for me. You're such a good girl that I don't need to slash anyone's tires, or leave needles in their food, or cut the brakes in their car. Well. Even though you're such a well-behaved good girl, I still have to worry about others hitting on you or giving you those eyes. You know the ones. <laughs> but luckily for me, usually just the sight of me is enough to scare them off. And the rare occasion where that fails, then growling at them really gets the job done. And even if it didn't, well, I'm not just all bark. Still, to think they turn tail and run so easily, it just goes to show that they weren't serious about you. Not like me. I am the most serious person in the world when it comes to my darling good girl. I love you. My entire life is a story of loving you. I'm so serious about you that I think about you every second, even when I'm asleep. I'm thinking about you right now, even. Well, I guess that's obvious, though. I mean, I'm talking about you. But anyways, I really do love you so much, darling. 
I love your smile, your eyes, and especially your eyelashes in particular, which I may or may not collect. <laughs> By the way, have I mentioned that I love you? I might have, say, ten seconds ago or so. I can be a bit airheaded sometimes when it comes to you. Because you're such a sweet, good girl. So I guess what I'm saying is... You're too sweet. It makes me lose focus sometimes. You're like a candy I get drunk on. You're sweet, sugary, and syrupy. It makes me want to take a bite. Even though I won't. Like I said, I could never hurt you. Even with a gun to my head, I could never hurt you. I love you. You're the most precious thing in my life. If I could save you or save the world, I would save you. If I could have you or have the world, I would have you. Well, I already have you though, and to me, that's the same as having the world. You are mine. Completely and utterly mine. Mind, body, and soul. I know it's a very possessive thing to say, but I mean it with utmost respect. I'm not going to be a jerk about it. Having you is a responsibility on my part. After all, an indescribable joy too, obviously, but also a responsibility. It's my responsibility to take care of you, to keep you safe, fed, happy, entertained, and loved. If you feel unhappy or unsafe, if you feel unloved, that's a shortcoming on my part, especially if you feel unloved. Every day when I wake up, the first thing I think about is how I can make you feel more loved, sweetheart. Because my darling good girl deserves the best. You deserve to feel loved, and I love you so much. And I want you to feel that. I need you to feel that. It's my duty to make you feel that. Do you feel loved when I tell you I love you all the time? Do you feel loved when I watch you all the time? Even in your sleep? Do you feel loved when I give you presents and hug you and kiss you? and tell you how much you mean to me, and I will never let anything keep us apart. I do all of those things naturally, of course. It's instinctive. But I still hope you feel at least a part of the immense love I have for you. I love you. Even if there's infinite realities where I exist, in all of them, I love you. I exist for you, and you exist for me. I belong to you, and you belong to me. I really like to emphasize that last part. You're mine. All mine in the truest sense of the word possible. Mine to cuddle, mine to watch, mine to love. Please say it for me. Be a good girl and tell me that you're mine. Good girl. You're such a good girl. How are you such a good girl? It's unbelievable. 
You're a miracle, my sweet darling girl. And I wouldn't have it any other way. But you know how you could be an even better girl for me, darling? Could you tell me that you're mine again? Good girl. That's what I need to hear more than anything. You're so sweet. How are you so sweet? <sighs> After all I've done for you, I've taste tested your food to make sure it's not poisoned, I've scared off the squirrels that were staring at you because that's my job. After all that, you're going to make sure that you're so sweet. Well, <laughs> that's okay. I'll manage. But you have to make it up for me, sweetheart. And you know how. By finally getting some sleep. Go on. I'll be here, just admiring you. I'll sleep a bit after you do, alright darling? So just get some sleep. I love you, my sweet darling girl.